Okie dokie. Hi guys. So today we're going to be looking at artificial light in Atlantis. Okay. So hopefully you guys have got your file from last week open. Okay. And you can see that I'm currently outside my model. Okay. So we've had our heliodons turned up nice and bright. Okay. For the last few weeks because we've needed to be able to see in our model. Okay, but today we're going to be adding light. So the first thing we need to do is pop over to our Heliodon inspector. Okay, and for whichever setting you guys are using, um, geographic, manual, or the 45 degree angle, let's turn our sun down. Okay, and then let's move inside. Okay, so opening up your 2D view, you need to move your... model inside okay and we can see that it is a bit darker inside okay I may even I'm gonna just turn down the sky a bit as well yep so it's a bit darker so I can't really see the inside I can see the inside of um, the outline of the couch and a few things like that okay so in Atlantis, we can create, add, and manage artificial lighting features, spotlights, parallel lighting, and all kinds of directional lights. Okay, so not only can you move them in here and place them in here, you can also manipulate them in your 2D view as well. Much like with the Heliodon, when the sun comes up, you guys can see what's happening. Okay, so we've turned down our sun, so now we're probably ready to move into our lights. So I'm going to click on my light inspector, okay, and you can see at the moment it looks like this. If this sidebar is closed, let's click on this textured rectangle and get this guy to open. Okie dokie. So this is what we're looking like. I'm going to decrease the size of my preview so I can pop my 2D view on here. So at the moment, all of the information in our light inspector is blacked out. Okay, that's because we don't have any um, model lights in our model yet. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is add a light group. So we come over to this side and we've got the two lights and the plus button. And it says add a light group if you hover your mouse over it. So if you click on that, you'll see light group. If we then double click on it, I'm going to call it maybe, I'm going to call this living room. Okay. And then I will also create one called kitchen, maybe dining, bathroom, uh, bedroom, I may have exterior, and maybe hallway as well, okay? So I've just created a light group for every area of my model that I know is going to need light. Okay, fairly straightforward. Okay, now that I've got my light groups, okay, I probably want to start adding lights. I'm gonna, in my 2D view, I'm going to move closer so that we can see or vaguely see the kitchen. Okay. Remembering that the red is your camera. Okay, so you can move that around. All right, so I'm in the kitchen light group. I want to add a light. Okay, so I press the single light bulb plus button and that creates a light. And you can see that I've got a white circle and it says light next to it. I can double click where it says light and I could say um, kitchen, I could call it, maybe let's call it the fridge light. Okay. So this light is going to be over the fridge. Now when I've clicked on it like that and it's highlighted, we can see that the options at the top become illuminated. Okay, and we can see here in my perspective, in sorry, my preview display, we've got a circle and then a tiny little yellow dot. And then if we come over to my 2D view, we can see that I've got a light here and then another cone and another little dot here. And we can see when I hover my mouse over it, it's called fridge. Okay, so this guy is turned on. If you guys can't see anything, just pop over back to perspectives and make sure that in this lighting section of your perspectives inspector, it says living room, 
Okay, so we might just make sure kitchen is on because at the moment we're just focusing on the kitchen. So we don't want any other lights on except the kitchen light. Right, so I'm going to pop back to lights and I can see this guy here. Alrighty, so when you create a new light, it will always be on your camera or underneath your camera. Okay, so the first time. So if I move it, okay, the same principle applies as your camera, okay? So this endpoint here is the light itself. This one here on the black line is where the light is pointing. And then the orange or yellow cone is how wide my light is moving. And you guys can see on my preview display that it is slowly starting to light up, okay? On my preview display, I also have this blue line. And I can click on this in my preview display and move it and drag the position of my light. And you can see as I move it, it's attaching to different surfaces. So in this case, at the moment, it's attached to the ceiling and then the island bench, I believe, okay? I can drag my light bulb up, okay? And I can increase the angle of my light that's being projected as well. Okay, moving up to this, the top part of my light inspector, there's lots of information that we can see here. First of all, this is the power button. If this is blacked out, we can see that this black, this dot here becomes black, which means our light is turned off. So if I click on here, the light becomes turned on again. Okay. Underneath here is the mixer, so you can change the color of the light just with everything else. Okay. Changing light. Then we have the power. Okay, so it's the strength of the light. Okay, measured in lumens again. Then we've got the angle that we want the light to project. Then we've got shadow. Do we want shadow on or off? So I'm going to turn it off for the moment. Okay, I'm going to turn on light cone. Okay, and I'm going to turn up my power. And you guys can see here that my uh, light is starting to appear. Okay, over here we've got lens flare, which I talked about last week as well. Okay. And if, you really, if you're really into Atlantis and you know the coordinates of your model, you can place your light using coordinates using this guy. Okay? So at the moment, my light is on. It's looking a bit funny. Okay? So what I'm going to do is come to my 2D view. And at the moment, I'm in plan, which isn't helpful. So I'm going to move to an elevation. Yep. So I want this light to be pointing straight down. And you need to check it in other elevations, not just the one. Okay, excellent. So now what I'm going to do is move this guy over and increase the size of my preview display. Okay, and hopefully I can move a bit closer. Remembering to use your zoom tools if you want to. I want to see if I can move this guy maybe up above my fridge like that or onto the floor and around my fridge. And again, I want pointing down. I'm gonna decrease the size of my angle. And you guys can see there that it's creating quite a large spot. All right, and I'm gonna pull it up. And if this was a spotlight, I could be a bit more specific like this, but as it's not gonna be a spotlight, I'm actually just gonna decrease the angle a bit or increase it so that it's kind of running along my ceiling. Okay, And of course, depending on how reflective my surfaces are is how well this light is going to light. Okay, So at the moment I'm trying to just move it up a little bit more, but that can be tricky. Okay, So sometimes it is quite hard to get into your model. Okay, and it can be a bit tricky to navigate around. All right, sorry, didn't mean to change back. All right, uh, we can see that my light is on the ceiling there and it's creating a light cone. If I turn off the light cone, this is what it looks like. I probably do want some shadows on, 
but maybe only one or two and I may need to increase this all the way. Maybe we don't want any shadows on at this point in time. You can see it's pretty close to the wall and it's creating an interesting light. Okay, so I would need to continue to play with this in different using my 2D view and my preview display here, okay, to get it in the right position where I want it to go. Alrighty. Right, and you can see the light is moving with my angle when I change it. Right. Um, you may want a different type of light, so if we click on this preview here, we can see that there are different types um, of light display. Okay, so this one is looking pretty good. I'm going to turn some shadows on. Okay, shadows help it to be realistic, but can be tricky to manipulate. So it's up to you if you want them on or off. Obviously, at the moment, I've only got one light in my kitchen, which isn't very helpful. Okay. So if you want to say I'm happy with where that is on fridge, I can right click and I can duplicate it. Okay, and that will appear directly on top of the one I've just created and it's called fridge underscore one. And I'm going to move it across so I've got two lights going. Okay, at the moment my the new copy is selected and it's exactly the same light as the one I previously made. If I come back here, it takes me back to these setting, the original light. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to use my camera and zoom back a bit so we can get more of a view. Okay, so that is creating quite a large amount of light and it's reflecting quite a bit. Okay, so I actually don't want it to be that bright because it's you can see on the windows it's really reflective. If you don't like the way it's looked and you think it's reflecting too much, we can come back to our shader, click on our object, glass, turn down the shininess heat more okay if I wanted to I could change how it's reflecting also okay so this is your artificial lighting okay when if you have a light that you have like a light fitting in SketchUp okay that you have created um, and layered and then you bring in your model into Atlantis you will need to create lights in this fashion okay in order to place this little globe or this little light into your light fitting that you've used in SketchUp, okay? Um, so if you have custom designs for fast studies and things like that, you need to make them in SketchUp and place them in SketchUp and layer them in SketchUp, and then we can put lights into them in Artlantis. Okay, so you will use a combination of natural light and artificial light in your assessment. So this is how you place a light and the options you have for using it, okay? Um, in the space without a fixture or with a fixture from SketchUp. Okay, thanks guys.